North Korea seems to be slowing down its denuclearization process, possibly even to a halt. U.S. monitoring reports that Pyongyang has stopped dismantling its key missile engine testing site. 38 North, a website backed by the Steamson Center think tank, often provides useful insights into what's happening in North Korea through commercial satellite imagery. And the latest footage shows there's been no significant dismantlement activity at the North Sohae Satellite Launching Station since August 3rd. Remember, we're talking about missile test site, and we've yet to see any sort of progress in terms of North Korea's stockpile of nuclear weapons. While Pyongyang's never agreed to a denuclearization timeline, Chairman Kim Jong-un did promise U.S. President Donald Trump back in June that he would dismantle the missile engine testing site in question. So we can deduce that North Korea is holding off because it's unhappy with the U.S. over, for example, its refusal to formally end the Korean War until the North completely denuclearizes. Once again, we're reminded of Pyongyang's persistent calls for simultaneous measures in the face of Washington's hardline approach. But the standoff could be even more serious because a report published by the UN's nuclear watchdog this week shows its grave concern that Pyongyang is still developing its nuclear program. The International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, has been unable to inspect North Korean nuclear sites although it has also used satellite imagery to support the claim that Pyongyang's expanding rather than shrinking its nuclear arsenal. So, President Trump is in dilemma. Does he stay firm in sanctions, refusing to offer in concessions until North Korea's denuclearization, which at this moment is just not happening? Or does he give way on Korean War peace treaty at the risk of being played by Pyongyang? At this moment, it seems like he's sticking with the former. Speaking to supporters at a rally in West Virginia last Tuesday, Trump claimed he wants to lift sanctions quickly, but then North Korea has to got to get rid of the nukes. If we are searching for any sign of optimism, it would be that the American leader again emphasized the good chemistry between himself and Chairman Kim. This is a president who is under pressure at home, will not want to be embarrassed by North Korea after prematurely celebrating his self-proclaimed denuclearization achievement. And that domestic situation might be what forces Trump onto a different course, which may just play into Pyongyang's hands. <laughs>